Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how we can integrate the Firebase SDK into our iOS uh, project. So the first thing we want to do is to open up our browser. Over here, I have my Chrome browser already open and I'm on the Firebase website. Okay, so if you see me in this address bar, it's firebase.google.com. So when you come to this website, you should see a page like that. And what we want to do is to go to the console page, okay? So over here, there's this button that says go to console. So let's click on that. And we will be prompted to log in via a Gmail or a Google account. So over here, I'm just going to log in with one of my developer account. And I'm going to hit the next button. All right, guys, so when you are, if you're logging in this for the first time, you shouldn't see any of this thing over here. Over here, I have web dash fire as well as Firebase auth demo. So these are my past uh, demo projects I've done. So if you're logging in uh, for the first time, you should only see this uh, card over here that says add project with this plus button at the top. Okay, so let's click on this. So now it says that uh, cre create a project, step one of three. Let's start a name uh, for our project. So over here, I'm going to type in travel because that is the name of our app. And let's click on continue. Over here, step two of three, it's prompting us uh, whether to, uh, to add Google Analytics for our Firebase project. Uh, in our use case, we don't really need this. So I'm going to uncheck this and click on the create project button. All right, so now Firebase is going to create our project and this will take uh, about 30 seconds. So I'm just going to quickly cut to the part when this completes. All right, guys, so it says here our new project is ready. So let's click on the continue button. Okay, so immediately we will be navigated into the travel project. If you see with me over here in the URL, it says project slash travel dash some numbers over here. Yours should look a little bit different from mine. Okay, so uh, what we need to do over here is to add our uh, add Firebase to our app. So it says over here, get started. And it allows us to add Firebase into different platforms. So if you see over here, there is iOS, Android, web, and even Unity projects. So let's click on the iOS uh, button over here. And now it says uh, step one. So there's step one to step five over here, uh, but I'll guide you uh, through the process. It's asking us for an iOS bundle identifier. Okay, so what's that? So if we hover to this uh, question mark icon over here, it says you can find your bundle identifier in the general tab for your app's primary target in Xcode. Alright guys, so the iOS bundle identifier is basically a unique ID uh, for the App Store to identify our app. Alright, so what we can do is to come back to uh, our travel project over here. Let's click on the travel uh, project icon over here, the one, the blue one over here. And let's come to the uh, general tab and we can see our bundle identifier over here. All right, so just copy this. So your bundle identifier should obviously look different from mine. Okay, I believe this part, uh, this part will be your name or your computer's name. Okay, so let's copy this and let's come over to uh, the browser and let's paste this inside over here. Okay, as for the app nickname and the app store ID, I think it's optional. So we don't really need to, to fill this in. So I'm going to click on the register app. All right, guys, so now that we are on this page, it says to download the config file. So over here, we have to download this file over here. It's a plist file. And uh, this file actually contains the API keys and API secrets that associates us with uh, Firebase. Okay, so let's just click on this and it will download this file into our downloads folder. Okay, so make sure that we have to move this file into our project, into the root of our Xcode project and add it to all targets. Okay, I'll guide you through how we can do that. So I'm just going to open this in, in my uh, downloads folder. So what we can do is to come over here and I just want to make sure that I'm dragging in this just above info.plist or somewhere within uh, this area. Okay, so I don't want to be dragging in this into some kind of folder over here. Just above the info plist should be quite safe. Okay, and then let's ensure that copy items if needed is being checked and we can click on the finish button over here. 
Okay, so we have added this Google service uh, underscore, sorry, a dash info.plist file over here. And guys, I just want to give you a word of a caution because this file is pretty sensitive. It contains uh, all the API secrets as mentioned. So the last thing you want to do is to share this file with someone else. So if you are committing your code on GitHub or GitLab, just uh, ensure that you, know, you don't commit this um, file itself. And uh, probably at the end of this tutorial, I will do a short video on how you can add this file into your git ignore to ensure that you don't accidentally commit this into a, a public repo, okay? All right, so let's come back over here and uh, let's hit the next button. And now it says step three, add Firebase SDK. So what we can do over here, it says create a pod file if you don't have one. We already have a pod file, so we don't have to do this. And now it says open your pod file and add the desired Firebase pro uh, products. Okay, so I think let's come over here to this part where we can explore to see what are the Firebase products that they offer. Okay, so I'm just going to paste this in. All right. Let me just close this. And over here, you notice that there are several services, not, not several, there are many services that Firebase is offering. Okay, it's quite a handful over here. Uh, but the, the service that we are really interested in is actually authentication. So I'm just gonna copy this over here. Okay, just copy this, come back. Uh, let's, let's, co let's come back over here and let's paste this into our pod file. Okay, so what we can do is to open our pod file. So I have my, I have my pod file. Uh, here already, so I can just paste this inside over here. But if let's say you don't have your pod, your pod file over here, what you can do is to right click on the travel uh, project over here, this folder over here, come to uh, show in finder, and you should see your pod file in this uh, directory. And what you can do is to right click and open in text edit. Okay, this is pretty much the same thing as well. All right, so as you can see, I've already added uh, this line over here already because I have that on Xcode. Okay, so I'm going to do a command S to save uh, this pod file. And let's come back to the document and it says, save the file and run pod install. So what I can do is to open up terminal. Okay, so I'm going to do a command space bar to open up the spotlight search. And I'm going to type in terminal and this opens up the terminal app over here. And then I'm going to navigate into this project directory. So what I can do is to do CD and I'm going to drag this thing over here hit the enter button, do a cd dot dot, and this navigates me to this um, location, okay? And I can do a pod install over here. All right, guys, so because I've already uh, done this uh, process, and that's why you see that this is happening almost instantaneously, but if you are doing this for the first time, uh, your, your process could take up to five minutes, okay? Because the Firebase SDK could be pretty big. So just be a little patient and wait till the process completes, okay? So now that uh, we are done with this, let's come back over here and uh, what does it say? Let's click the next button. Okay, so now we need to add some initialization code because we are on Swift. Uh, this is the uh, reference that we're going to use. Okay, so we need to import Firebase into our app delegate class, okay? so. I know that my app delegate class is over here, but I want to teach you guys a little trick. You can uh, tap on the Command Shift and O button on your keyboard, Command Shift O, and this opens up something called Open Quickly. Okay, so what this allows you to do is to navigate to a file really fast, and I'm going to type in app delegate, and this filters the the file that I want to go to. So I can just uh, double click on this to quickly get into the app delegate uh, class. So this this uh, open quickly thing is really really helpful, especially if your pro your project is really huge and you have tons of nested folders. Uh, so this really helps me. Okay, so what we need to do uh, is to import Firebase over here. Okay, according to this document here. And the next thing we want to do is to um, add this line as well, Firebase app.config. So I'm just going to copy this by clicking on this button, which copies this line onto my clipboard. I'll come back to Xcode and I'll just paste this uh, on line 17, okay? Okay, so this is done now. So let's come back here and uh, hit the next button. All right, guys, I think this is pretty much it. Uh, read the Getting Started Guide for iOS. You're ready to start building with Firebase. All right, guys, so if you are um, 
um, integrating with Firebase for your very first time, I would recommend that maybe you just take some time to read this Get Started Guide. Uh, otherwise, if you want, you can just follow uh, this tutorial. Uh, you will do fine as well. I'm going to click on the Continue to the, Continue to the Console button. And uh, yep, we are on the dashboard itself. Okay guys, so how do I uh, validate to ensure that Firebase has been integrated uh, correctly? What I would like to do is to just hit the play button to ensure that the, um, oops, what's happening over here? Let's see. Build operations are disabled. Oh, do I have a small problem here? Okay, I'm just gonna close this and open this one more time. Uh, you may not experience this, so uh, let me just run this. Okay, now it's working fine. Okay, so if uh, you're able to click the play button and if the simulator builds successfully, uh, it's a high chance that you have integrated the library correctly. So over here, my simulator is running and I'm pretty sure yours would run as well. So if this is happening, congratulations, we have integrated uh, Firebase successfully. All right, guys, uh, this is all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.